This week, we're going to dive into Lightroom. We're going to take a look at a quick tip that can really affect the way your photo looks. It's a great way of affecting the midtones in particular. It can brighten things, it can darken things, it can work a little bit like dehaze. Let's take a look. It's tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where each every each and every Tuesday we bring you a brand new fresh photography tutorial. This week we're going to dive into Lightroom, like I said in the intro, and we're going to look at how you can affect those midtones. Now, the reason this is so important is sometimes highlights and sometimes shadows don't quite cut it for what you're trying to achieve. They're great. It's a great way of editing. You can use the tone curve for this sort of thing as well. But there's a really easy way to specifically affect the midtones in your image. And it can brighten things, it can darken things, it can work a little bit like dehaze. There's a lot we can do. Let's dive in. I'm gonna show you a few different pictures. Now let's take a look at this photo. This photo was taken on the Sony 20 to 70 F4 lens. Really, really nice lens as a kind of all rounder. And certainly for sort of landscapes like this, this is a nice sort of sunset time. We've got a view of the, the sea and the town and the pier and there's someone standing over here, which is nice. It's kind of a, uh, an element that draws the eye. So what I might do in a situation like this is come over to the color grading tab on the right. I might do something like add a little bit of orange to the to the midtones, maybe a little bit of blue to the shadows, maybe a little bit of orange to the to the highlights. We'll do something like that. That's pretty cool. We can turn that off and back on. It's pretty subtle, if I'm honest with you, but it can sometimes make a little bit of a difference or it can make all the difference to the photo. But where this gets interesting is affecting the luminance on actually those three different things. Now, on the color grading tab here, I've got it selected on the three ways so you can actually see all three at once, but you can actually go into each one individually. So the shadows, the midtones, and you're probably starting to see where we're going with this, and then the highlights. So if we come over to the highlights here, let's say I wanna bring this down a little bit. Let's, let's bring the luminance of the highlights down. Great. That is certainly helping with the overall brightness, but it gives it that kind of slight HDR look that maybe we don't want. If we boost them up, we just get a really overly brightened sun and sky and it just starts getting really out of hand. So we don't want to do that. Double click to reset. Let's go to shadows. Now we can bring that down and you can see all of this area in the foreground around the sort of beach area is, is coming down. That can be great for adding a bit of contrast. We could boost that up. But again, it starts to fade out a little bit. Not a problem. Let's go over to midtones. Now this is something that isn't included when you look at the basic panel. So when you look at the basic panel with all your sliders, you've got highlights, you've got shadows, you can see I've already made a little bit of an adjustment there, but there's no midtones. You could do something in the tone curve. You could pop a point on there, something like this, and bring that down or bring that up. And that's a pretty good way of doing things. You can really play around with that. And that's that can be really useful. But in the color grading tab here, we can just come over to midtones and affect this luminance. Now, if I brighten this, you can see it's a much more subtle effect than either the highlights or the shadows. We are just getting this whole sort of area here brightened a little bit, and it almost adds that kind of hazy effect. It almost feels a bit like dehaze, negative dehaze, but specifically within the midtones. If we were to bring this down, look at how it affects this area where the town is and the hills. We're almost dehazing that whole area, but it's not overly done. Maybe it is at minus 97, but it's not, it's not too much. It's quite subtle, right? If I turn this off and then back on, you can see it is actually making quite a nice little difference there. So if I was to bring this up, the, the actual midtones here, I can get this sort of hazy effect here without completely destroying that sky. And that's a really, really nice way of actually doing something. Let's move over to a different photo. I'll show you how it can affect something in another way. Let's take a look at this photo. Now, a very similar photo, actually taken on a completely different day. This was taken on the Hasselblad X2D. You can see it's a wider shot, a much wider shot of the same sort of landscape with these nice storm clouds kind of brewing overhead. Again, we could do something very, very similar, but let's just take a look. So I've actually done a little bit of color grading on this one. I've added a little bit of orange to the midtones, a little bit of blue, to the shadows, nothing in the highlights. So if I was to actually turn this off, the color grading, let's turn that off and then back on. You can see it's a very slight, very subtle. I mean, you might not even notice. It's very, very subtle, actually, the way that this is color graded. So let's go ahead and look at how we can affect the luminance in this photo. Well, if we bring the shadows down, you can see it's mostly affecting that foreground, a little bit in the in the clouds. We, you know, we get a nice faded effect if we leave it up a little bit, but we wanna be looking at those midtones. If we bring those midtones down, Look at what that does. 
It adds contrast, it brings the clouds down. We get an interesting look to the town and the hills if we bring it up. We get a really interesting kind of negative dehaze feel. We get a little bit more detail, a little bit more brightness, but without blowing out the highlights. I just really love editing this way. I think it's a really subtle way of, of changing things up and I think it can look fantastic. Let's take a look at this. This is the Leica M6. So I've done kind of a top-down product photo of this. We've got some older cameras around it. We've got some plants. We've got some sort of nice lighting directly onto the actual Leica itself, which is great. And I haven't done any color grading to this particular photo. I don't know that it actually needs color grading specifically, but we can take a look at how the midtones or the highlights or the shadows affect this particular photo. Let's look at the shadows first of all. If we bring those up, you can see we get this sort of faded effect. If I bring those down, it gets very, very contrasty and probably too much. I think it's probably fine as it is like that. If I was to bring the highlights up, not a whole lot happens. We'd get a little bit of brightness in the middle. If I bring that down, we just get a slightly sort of reduced highlights, a bit of an HDR effect, but I don't think that really helps either. But if we bring the midtones up, we really start to brighten the center of the image. If I turn this off now and then back on, most of that is affecting around the actual Leica camera itself. And that's really, really helpful. That's much more helpful than the highlights were being. If we bring that down, we get a much more sort of faded, dull look, which maybe is something that you want to go for. But we're getting a really interesting effect by playing around specifically with the luminance of the midtones, which is something you can't really do in that basic panel. Now, like I said in the video, you can affect this with the tone curve, and that's a perfectly reasonable way of doing it but sometimes it's just quicker and easier to do it like this. And you can get a better idea of how it's going to look, how the final image might look if you were to play around with those midtones. And it's a really interesting way of changing the luminance in different areas of the photo. Now, it doesn't work with every photo. It's not something that I would use in every photo, but it's something I've really been playing around with more and more over the last few months and with all kinds of different stuff, landscape, portrait, product, lots of different stuff that this can work with. Definitely worth a try because it's a quick and easy thing to do and it might just change the way that you edit your photos. So let me know if you've ever tried this down in the comments. I'd love to hear if you have any tips for kind of managing this or do you just prefer to use the tone curve? Is that just how you like to do it? Absolutely fine. I like the tone curve as well. I just enjoy the sort of easiness of this. So I'd love to hear any thoughts you have on that down in the comments. Of course, you can check out all of the equipment that we use to make these videos and the photos and all that kind of fun stuff by checking out the links down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. There's new content all the time. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, as always, thanks for watching.